Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making stoner pizza. For those of you that remember, uh, we did a charity stream for St. Jude's Children's Hospital with Homic Smash. We did a Halo race. There's a clip from that. Ah, you son of a bitch. Ah! to die you son of a bitch and during that little live stream i said if we hit a two thousand dollar goal i would not only restart my race my stream but i would also make a stoner pizza live here for you guys on youtube we have all the ingredients laid out this is everything that goes into a stoner pizza sans a few of these things we don't need vegetables in our cardiac arrest on a plate but i figured i would walk you guys through the process and how to make a stoner pizza starting with the fact that I've already preheated the ovens for the mozzarella sticks and the french fries. Aside from that, we've got some ground pork that's gonna be going in it, some pepperoni, some buffalo sauce here. We got ham that I'll be dicing up and putting in there as well. Lots of mozzarella and some more pizza sauce and some uh, basil pesto. I haven't used this on it yet. Also got some jalapenos because I like it spicy. This is everything that goes into a stoner pizza, so let's go ahead and get started. How do I fucking start it? Feel free to talk shit to me. <laughs> first things first, I need to go ahead and get my cookie sheets here because I need to take this pizza crust here. And this is just the store-bought stuff that I bought in the uh, in the grocery store. I need scissors. So I'm gonna take these two little crusts here and I'm gonna stick them in the cookie sheets because I don't have a baking pan. I'm not tall enough to reach. Olive oil. Oh no! First things first, we're gonna take our olive oil. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil on this crust so that we get a nice little browning on the crust when it bakes. See, I have two crusts here. I'm actually making a normal pizza because the stoner pizza is literally cardiac arrest on a plate. So we're gonna set these to the side. I'm gonna start browning this pork here. So satisfying every time. Go ahead and put our pork in there. This is the Jimmy Dean hot ground pork. I like spicy. With a pizza crust here, the one I'm gonna be doing the stoner pizza on, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of garlic powder on it. And then from here, we can go ahead and set up our pizza with the sauce. So I'm using this uh, New York style buffalo sauce. It's really good for some spicier kind of stuff to it. Are you okay? I think he smells the garlic. I don't think he likes garlic. We're at nice small chunks so that we can add it to the pizza. We have a nice dusting of uh, sausage over it. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of let that do its thing for now. Let it cook a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and apply our pizza sauce. I can't even open that. Two stoner pizza. Just like that. I'll go ahead and a spoon so we can spread that out. Nice, even layer of this buffalo sauce here. And don't worry if you didn't use the whole jar because we'll use the rest a little bit later. So for the other pizza, this is gonna be a normal kind of supreme pizza. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this classic pizza sauce here. That's such a chunky. Got that chunky funk. Oh, that's some of that good good. Some of that good good, right? That funky chunk. Yeah, that's some of that splish splash. On that slurp blur. Yeah, man, he's playing that. Funky chunky! From there, you just add your layer of mozzarella. We're gonna take our mozzarella here and we're just gonna layer it on this pizza here. Now, the Stoner Pizza's uh, special taste in a pizza, you have to double bake it. So, what I'm gonna do is get the first kind of layer of toppings on with the pepperoni and the sausage and everything, and we're gonna bake it once. We're gonna put on our the rest of our ingredients and then we're gonna bake it a second time. If you don't, this thing will never bake all the way through. That's one of the ovens done. We'll go ahead and use the oven that's done to go ahead and quickly put this pizza together. That's the other oven. I'm a man that has access to two ovens. You're just enjoying watching me flail through this, aren't you? <laughs> Pork's almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this pepperoni here. And we're just gonna go ahead and put our pepperoni liberally covering the entire base of the pizza. I'm like actually shaking. 
I don't know why I'm nervous. Could also be the monster I just chose. Next step is to add the ham to the stoner pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of that up right now. I usually just chop it up into fine little squares that I can spread over the pizza. Take it and just sprinkle it over the top as a topping. This is literally just take the ingredients you have in the house and just make a pizza out of it. Just half. 12 minutes for a half bag. We're gonna do the fries first. What you can do here with the fries is you season up the taste. What I usually do is I take a little bit of salt, dust it over the fries there. I've got some of this Creole seasoning, which is pretty good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And of course, the last dusting should be with seasoned salt. That's a lot of salt on those fries, but trust me, it's not even gonna matter. This is gonna be, you need like 20 minutes to bake all these fries, but that's why we have two ovens. Ham. Don't worry about using all of the sausage, because if you're doing two pizzas, you could make a sausage pizza, or you could add it to the second layer, or the third layer we're gonna be adding to this pizza. Oh yes, it's a multi-layer pizza. All right, we've got the sausage added. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of spread it out a little more evenly. But from there, cheese. <laughs> go ahead and add our second layer of cheese here. And you'll start to notice it's gonna take a little bit more of a dome or a pyramid shape. Just roll with it. There's nothing you can do about that. You're piling on the toppings, just keep it rolling. So there is the first layer to our stoner pizza. We're gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna add Another layer of pepperoni to this. I'm feeling frisky. Again, stoner pizza, whatever you want it to be. How badly do you want cardiac arrest? This will give it to you. Ham. Jalapenos. I add the jalapenos onto this top layer because I like the taste of a nice roasted jalapeno. That's exactly what happens when it's a top layer because it's got access to the heating elements of the oven. It helps that capsaicin come out a little bit more and kind of even out and mellow out so it's not just melt your face off even though I just put on a shit ton of jalapenos. And we'll go ahead and bake this. The oven right now is preheated to 450 degrees. We're gonna leave it in there for about five, 10 minutes until this first layer is completely melted. Are you fearing for your life yet? Yeah, very much. <laughs> this pizza as a whole is terrifying. It's like Twitch subs, man. You're at tier three right now. You're about to be at tier four. Oh. <laughs> Exactly. No, the higher tier you get, the better the pizza gets. Get like thick ass pizza. So it started to melt, that's all we want. I bought too much pepper. God, this just looks so good. Oh my god, look at that. It's yeah, pretty, but for how long? Oh, it'll be pretty. Pretty big. We got all this sausage left. It'd be a shame to waste it. Again, take everything in your kitchen. Throw it on the pizza. That's a throw, that's a stoner pizza. Somebody's probably watching this like, no, don't. Hey, you, you've been watching this video long enough to see me put the second layer of pork on. Why aren't you subscribed yet? If you like content like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more. Mm. that was good. We got some of this buffalo sauce left. We're gonna go ahead and add that to this top layer. So we gotta add mozzarella sticks. We gotta add more cheese. We gotta add the french fries. And we're gonna add more cheese. It's like a pizza lasagna. It has layers. If Shrek was a pizza. I realized I brought the pesto out and I haven't even used it. How do you even use pesto? It's like sad guacamole, but with basil. It's really good, but it's very sad. <laughs> All of our appliances are so happy. Listen to that. <laughs> you see little songs when they're done. All right, let's get these out of here. There's our mozzarella sticks, and there's our french fries. So now we get to the fun part of all this, which is setting up the last of the layers. So first, we have a layer of mozzarella sticks, and then we have another layer of cheese, and maybe some jalapenos and more pepperoni. And then we have the top layer of fries held together with a bunch of cheese as well. So. How does a protogen recharge? Protosynthesis. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and put these mozzarella sticks here on a bit of a star pattern is what I usually do. Just 
just kind of evens it out. You're basically setting it up to where when you slice, you're slicing in between the different mozzarella sticks, and each slice has like one or two mozzarella sticks on it, just like that. Okay, uh, we might have to take a quick intermission to let the camera cool down here. All right, so some stuff happened while we were on intermission. The power actually went out for a little bit, uh, but everything's okay, it only flickered. And I went ahead and put the Supreme Pizza in the oven to get it done. But we're gonna move on now finishing the Stoner Pizza, which now has our mozzarella sticks and everything on it. And we're ready to go ahead and add the last layer of cheese. I got another third bag of mozzarella. So we're gonna go ahead and just cover this thing in cheese. It should be just, Wisconsin should be jealous. There we go, we got a nice pile of cheese on here. This is why we double baked it, because that bottom layer of cheese would not melt if all of this was on here. And now what I'm actually gonna do, I'm probably gonna throw it in the oven for a few more minutes just to get these last couple layers of cheese to melt. Oh my God, this thing's like lifting Thor's hammer. I got some of these Reese's peanut butter chocolate, peanut butter flavored cupcakes from the store because obviously I don't care about my health right now. Okay. Here's where we're at. Donut pizza, I'm a dumbass. Wow, I really just did that. <laughs> Ow. I thought about it for a quick second. I'm like, this isn't a good idea. This is where we're at with the Stutter pizza. All we have left is now to add the french fries, which I'm just going to pile on top of the pizza here. Doesn't matter how organized it is, because this is your final layer. This is its final form. Frieza in the style of a pizza. And then finish off with a final layer of mozzarella cheese. God, this looks disgusting. <laughs> it's, the, it's basically a cake. But you think you've got enough added. This is when we actually bake the pizza, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna use up the last of these pepperonis in this bag. Basically use the whole bag of pepperoni on this. I don't think this is gonna stick together. I'm gonna make bets now. Last couple pieces of pepperoni. Oh. So there we have it. The finished stoner pizza. All that's left to do is bake it. So with your oven set to 350, and the power of Zeus in your arms, go ahead and stick that sucker right in the oven like that, and bake for 25 minutes. And in 25 minutes, we should have a finished pizza. I'm gonna call this done. The pepperoni's starting to curl up, so Thor's hammer. The power of Grayskull. I have the power! God damn it, Timmy. Oh bubbling mass of cardiovascular distress with my dinky little fucking pizza cutter. Eh. I'm telling you, you aren't ready for the fucking road trip that your basements are about to go on. You're gonna have a road trip in your mouth. Let's go ahead and try to cut this thing. Oh my god! Pizza cutter's not gonna handle it. So your pizza cutter isn't gonna be able to cut this pizza. You're gonna need to get yourself a big boy knife and cut this thing like a chef. Go down the Oh my god! All right, and now all I'm doing is I'm following the uh, the mozzarella sticks we put in there. This thing is like if you microwaved a Nokia phone and it became sentient. So now we just take our spatula, and scoop up a piece that's hopefully cut all the way through. Oh man, that cheese is stringy. That's good. And there you have it, one finished stoner pizza slice. It looks like a cake. This thing looks absolutely dangerous. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching this video. This has been really fun to do. I meant to get this video done a long time ago, but if you did like this video, make sure to like and comment on the video if you did, and to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Anyway, my last will and testament is in the description below. Make sure to check that out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh shit.